Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. So I am back with a video after taking a little bit of hiatus, hiatus excuse me, for Mother's Day. So what I have here is some cut up chicken breasts with um, bacon, some bone broth, my um, protein powder for some coffee, and right here is spinach with a little bit of nutritional yeast in it. Um, salad dressing, my branch chain amino acids, and this is just some green juice I made this morning. So this is it for my meal. When I do my first meal, um, I will be back. See you guys later. Hi, my YouTube family. Um, again, I want to apologize for not um, putting out a, you know, a video on Saturday. Um, I started out with all plans to do so, but um, the weekend got a little, I'm going to say very, very hectic, but I kind of wanted to enjoy the whole weekend. It was my daughter-in-law's birthday that Saturday, then Sunday was Mother's Day, so I kind of just spent time relaxing and enjoying family. So, um, some updates on where I am at. I'm going to talk about my weight and health first. Um, as you know, I, on the health side, um, my struggle has been... Um, my high cortisol levels um, and trying to get that under control coupled with the fact that I did have weight loss surgery which impacts the way I digest food and I struggle with getting enough calories in um, especially regarding proteins and meat sometimes it's just hard for me to eat you know enough in one sitting and with that being said, to follow intermittent fastings where you take a break, you know, so you're not constantly, you know, raising your insulin due to digesting food is um, a, a balancing act for me. So what I've come to realize is that um, to not focus so much on, oh my God, I'm going to have to, I need to lose weight, which I do, is just my health aspect and trying to figure things out. So what I do um, in the morning, I have a bulletproof protein coffee. Um, I'm drinking on it right now. And that is just my bone broth protein. And I've kind of settled that bone broth protein will be best for me. Um, looking at um, that I have some gut issues and cortisol issues and all that going on. And it has um, 20 grams of protein um, and it's gut friendly because it's um, made with bone broth. So I'm, I think for the past maybe week and a half, I've been doing that with some coffee and it's working out pretty well. Um, I still haven't really lost any weight, but then again, I'm concentrating on getting my health in order. Not that, oh, I'm going to pack them a whole lot of weight because, no, I'm not. That's not the plan. Um, so also what I've started doing is trying to figure out how food, you know, factors in and how it affects my body. So what I did is I started just this week, um, look, made up a little bitty chart. I don't know if you can see this kind of weird chart here. So I did a weigh in on Saturday and then I started putting on my chart what I eat, what I my weight is that morning and kind of see how it fluctuates from day to day with respect to um, my muscle mass and my fat percentage and see how much I'm eating and the kinds of food I'm eating, how is that um, affecting it from day to day? So I'm going to kind of monitor that. It's going to be kind of like a little project 
experiment, if you will, to see how what I'm doing, if it's working or not working, and all of that stuff. I will continue to do updates and probably maybe every other week I'll do a weigh-in because I know a lot of people tune in just for the weigh-in part of everything. So it's been quite the journey and I'm still wrapping my head around a few things and trying to do things differently and remaining open-minded. Um, next is um, I'm going to talk about something that might be a little bit sensitive for people is um, the idea of food and food as a comfort. When I say that, um, I have I would been following a few um, keto people, and one that's not kind of keto, that talks about food and nutrition and how we strayed away from what is nutritionally good and try to replace it with food that is super stimulating. And um, I started thinking more and more about that and how that factors into what I eat and somehow how much of it I'm able to eat. So I've noticed the food that stimulates my brain the most, for some reason, I'm able, it's more palatable and I'm able to eat more of it. And I'm not saying that we should be eating food that is boring and tasteless and all of that, but I think we've come to rely on food to give us a certain amount of stimulation. If everybody food we're not putting in our mouth is not just, you know, giving us this euphoric feeling, somehow it's not good. Um, what I'm concentrating on now is more on eating food and it does not have to stimulate anything, but it has to nourish my body and heal me. That's, it may sound um, like common sense, but when you think about it, um, eating something like a keto, you know, healthy enchilada or whatever, is going to be very different from eating some vegetables and meat, just sauteed in, um, you know, a healthy fat or something. So I'm still... You know, I'm a work in progress and I'm still wrapping my head around some things. So um, I will be posting some meals and they're going to be very, very basic because I want to get back to basic and get to healthy. So I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as I go along this path. So and I still have my coffee and I'm going to drink this down. And when I do my first meal, I will report in. Okay, it is time for my first meal of the day, and it's the salad. It's just spinach with chicken and bacon and a, some um, ranch bacon dressing and a little bit of nutritional yeast. And I am going to eat that down, and I will be back with my next meal. Okay, I'm down to my final meal of the day, and here it is. This is just um, cabbage and a little bit of onions, um, broccoli with some chicken, a little stir fry. And that completes my eating for today. And I want to thank everyone for following me on my journey so far. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And I will be back on Thursday for another update. And I will see you then and have a wonderful rest of the day.